Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunters of the Playbook, bring you a week eight NFL matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the St. Louis Rams. Now offensively, when you look at the Carolina Panthers, what they have to do this week is utilize a lot more double back sets, a lot of uh, split backs. You have D'Angelo Williams, you also have Jonathan Stewart, two talented tailbacks. Why not get both these guys in the backfield in that split back formation? That way you're equal to both sides because both guys can catch the football out of the backfield. Both guys can, are big enough and good enough to block for each other, similar to what Marcus Allen and Bo Jackson used to do back in for the uh, Raiders back in the day. So get both backs in the game and utilize a lot more split back formations. You also want to take a look at the continued progression of those young wide receivers, David Geddes and Brandon LaFell. If these guys can continue to make those strides to make big plays like they did last week, this offense is going to look a lot more deadly this week, especially when you get Steve Smith back there. Now you got those wide receivers taking that coverage off of him. That's going to help out a lot. You also take a look at this game. You got to have your screen passes in effect. St. Louis Rams defensive ends love to fly up the football field, so you must have your screen game ready to combat that pass rush. Defensively, what you want to take a look at is can Everett Brown, uh, is the matchup between Everett Brown and Roger Saffold. If Brown can win this matchup, that's a key aspect of the Rams game is protection from the blind side. So it's up for Brown to get some pass rush. He hasn't done so this year, so he has to be able to whip the rookie uh, Saffold throughout this game. You, you also look at your safety. Your safeties have to force uh, Sam Bradford outside. Don't force, don't allow Bradford to have deep plays down the middle of the field. Force him to go outside. That way you guys can stay over top. Now you look at St. Louis in this game. One thing that's important is that Bradford can't be careless with the football this week. Every one of the Carolina Panthers secondary players can catch interceptions. These guys are ball hogs back there at the cornerback spot, even at the safety spot. So it's up for Bradford to protect the football this week because if you have any errant passes, it can get picked off. And you want to attack the middle of that defense with the pass. The Panthers will run a cover two. You know that weak spot is the deep middle of the field as well as the hash marks in between the corner and the safety. So he must be able to attack the deep middle. That's going to widen out that coverage and you'll be able to effectively hit passes underneath, underneath that coverage as well too. Now, you want to utilize a lot of bunch packages to weaken the zone. That's one thing you do when you play in a cover two team, you want to flood the zone. A lot of trips, a lot of double sights to the same side. Flood the zone with different packages, that way you effectively weaken the cover two defense. Now defensively, I look at Robinson and Gibson versus that, uh, versus Travell Warden in that interior offensive line of the Carolina Panthers. Pa the Panthers love to run downhill, and if you could effectively whip that interior offensive line of Carolina, you can then, then effectively control the line of scrimmage and effectively control their running game. So it's up to you guys to win that battle. Interior offensive line play is key, and the pass rush must get there this week. Uh, Mike Moore looked outstanding back there in the pocket. He's a guy that was able to step up, make plays he down the field, throw really accurately. So the pass rush has to make sure they get there, otherwise it could be beat deep. I'm going with Carolina in this game. I think Carolina has the running game. Those two young wide receivers showed me a little bit last week. They stepped up and improved. That defense is active, it's pesky. They're gonna turn up the pressure a little bit on the rookie uh, Bradford. So I think the Panthers are gonna come into this game and get a victory with that balanced offensive attack and aggressive defense. Look for the defense to finally get some pass rush this week. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL, or you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.